What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video. And today, are you feeling it? Because I'm feeling it. I got a new DC return pump and I cannot wait to show you it. I got the brand new Octo Varius 8 return pump. I cannot wait to get this thing out. Now, I did keep it in the box because I did cut the box open just to see if there's any damage. And it doesn't look like there's any damage because as you know, my Aquamax skimmer from Marine Depot did not come in well. I mean, it came in hundreds of pieces, I would say, for both of them. But this Various 8 looks great. It looks like it's been packaged well, so I'm just gonna open it up and see. Oh yeah, no damage on the package. Just a little bit in the corner. So, decided to give Marine Depot a shot and we'll see how this thing works and how it looks in this box. So let's open it up. I decided to move the box over here so I could lay out every single piece. So let's open this up and see what we got inside. I love my Regal um, Space Saving Skimmer. It was, a, it was a Regal 200, it was great. So directions here. I decided to just go with straight up all Reef Octopus because I'm just super happy. All right, so kind of just, I'm surprised they didn't have as much uh, like styrofoam or anything in there for the packaging. I mean, it's all kind of just thrown in with that. Interesting, because I know with my protein skimmer, it was really well packaged. I mean, this is kind of just thrown in there. Interesting. Huh, well, there we go. We got all the fittings. I mean, nothing seems damaged. I mean, Reef Octopus builds their stuff like tanks. So I'm guessing it's okay. Huh. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, a couple of nicks there, but nothing bad. Doesn't seem like anything's, you know, messed up in here. Got the float. Seems to be good. Strainer looks good. I was a little worried because I mean, you know, let's be honest, UPS is not very kind with everything. But yeah, everything seems to be pretty good in here. Something else is in here. Oh, one of the feet fell off. There we go. All right, so that is what we get in the box. I will go and lay it out so you can see it all. So this is what you get in the box. You get the various eight pump. You get the strainer attachment for it. You get the float switch. So that way if you kind of like run low in the return chamber, it'll shut off the pump. You get the control, you get a bunch of different adapters. You got one and a quarter inch. You got two of them. They screw onto the top just like this. You got the adapter to go to um, like a barb type fitting. I don't think this is three quarter inch. I think this is one inch. I'd have to check and see. But if I remember correctly, the various eight does a one inch. Let me check believe that is a one inch i doesn't have in the directions or anything like that but um you also got your power brick over here and that is it yeah so you get quite a lot for this pump now i did get it from marine depot um it was on sale for 15 percent off so i saved like 60 bucks or i think it was about 60 bucks maybe something like that maybe it was less 60 50 something bucks i don't know but yeah it's definitely a expensive pump but when it's on sale i mean I kind of want to jump on it. You always want to have a backup pump um, no matter what. So I'm thinking about taking that j bow off there. I think it's a j bow like 8,000 and then putting it as a backup pump and just leaving it. Now, interesting, I want to see if I have, there's like a threaded connection on here. I wonder if this is the same threading for my j bow because I could just unthread it and then just put that little um, three quarter inch adapter right on here. So that might be cool for you guys if you do have those J-Bow pumps, you wouldn't have to uh, do anything crazy. It might be able to just fit on there. So I'm gonna take a look at that and see if that is actually the case. All right, the moment of truth. My plan is to reach in here and unscrew this little section of the pump I can do it, oh my god. There we go, one-handed, like a pro. Unscrew this and see if it actually fits on the various pump. If it does, oh my god, my life will be so easy and then this could help out any other people who are thinking about upgrading. Oh. 
Let's see, will that, oh, there's no way in hell that's screwing on. Nope, oh, that means I gotta get a new barb fitting and everything. Oh, lovely. All right, well, I'll be back when I get a new uh, barb fitting for this, because that fitting is not gonna fit on this pump, so I'll kind of show you that before I get it going. All right, so pretty much you can take a look at this and see oh, that this is probably way too big of a diameter to fit in here. I don't know. You can see that. But yeah, way too big. So this is definitely an inch, and this is definitely three quarter of an inch, and this is silicone tubing, so uh, probably not gonna fit. So I might have to get um, one of those little um, barb fittings like this from Bulk Race Supply, but get the three quarter inch one and glue it into this fitting here. Yeah, so. All right, well, I guess this video is gonna take a, a bit longer to make. So I'll be back and give me a couple weeks to get the piece in. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so as you can see, one and a quarter inch, and I need to have a one and a quarter inch pipe to go to this uh, slip fitting that I have because this takes it from one and a quarter inch down to three quarter inch where I can put a three quarter inch barb onto my silicone. Now I put it on here just to test it out and oh my gosh, this thing, I could not pull it out. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, it was impossible to get a thing out so I'm not gonna put it in until it's time to put it in the tank. So got my one and a quarter inch pipe or PVC pipe from Lowe's. This was actually like $3 for a two foot section. I had no idea the one and a quarter inch was significantly more expensive. So I'll cut this down, put this on the top, glue it all in, call it a day. Oh my God, look at this crazy pump. Oh my God, this is gonna be sticking out of the water. Holy cow. That is such a crazy connection. Well, I guess, you know, when you have it set up to be for, um, you know, I think it was set for a one inch return. Yeah, I think this is a one inch pipe that this is set up for at least, well, that's three quarters. So this might be set up for a one and a quarter inch. So I'd have had to got a new adapter for this and they didn't give it to me. I wish Reef Octopus would have given you the, I mean, come on guys, this is like super cheap and it would have been super easy to just put it right here and save me like three inches, four inches. Yeah, Reebok was throwing like an inch and then a uh, three quarter of an inch because a lot of us don't have inch and a quarter returns. Um, I mean, if you do, I mean, for this pump, it is kind of oversized for what I'm using it for, but I am going to be plumbing in a frag tank. So I really wanted to keep it three quarter inch because that's the same plumbing that all my pipe is for uh, the Innovative Marine uh, it's like the 200 gallon EXT. It's all three quarter inch piping for the return. So just keep it with the three quarter inch. I'm sure I'm gonna have some loss of uh, um, pressure and everything, some loss of flow. But I mean, I got way more flow than what I need with this little pump here. So I'm gonna put this on the tank and take off that um, the JBAO DCP8000, I believe it is and then put this beast on. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe that. Look at that thing. It's like the size of my hand. That's huge. So I realized it took like a beautiful pump and with all these fittings, I made it kind of ugly. What are you gonna do? The one oversight I did with this tank is that I made it really difficult to get to that return section. Even though it does have the silicone tubing, it's easy to get it off. Well, I would say, easy. It's going to be real difficult because I've already tried to take it off. Um, it's really hard to access it because I put the ATO there. I mean, this is kind of in line, so it's easy to get to the refugium section. Not so great to get to the skip skimmer section and with the control panel there, it's not the easiest to get to the filter socks, but you know, I do have that filter. Um, I do have this nice control panel. This protects it from any splashing you can kind of see, but yeah. I really don't really, I don't enjoy working on my sump, which is probably why it's a little dirty right now, but eh, what can you do, it's a sump. I'm gonna clean it out next week because I'm way too tired and I just need to get this done. 
Now that seems to be a problem. It sits up so high that it now kinks the hose. Oh great, gotta cut it now. But then that's gonna make it more difficult for the other um, return to be swapped in and out in case I need it. Oh. Turns out I had another piece of silicone tubing that I bought earlier when I wanted to drop this uh, cross section of the return down lower but I decided to keep it up high so I had more room to work with. And it didn't fit on my old pump, but guess what, it fits on this one. That means I have an extra pipe or silicone tubing to go with that pump. All right, let's get this routed. Oh yeah, and I also knocked out the skimmer because I pulled a power cord. I need to really focus on getting a better handle on my cord management. So the pump is in, I just started it to run it. The one thing I don't like is that I had to turn it this way because that little cord is only six feet and it is not a much to work with. When you're dealing with such a large pump, you're working with larger tanks. I would hope that they would, you know, give you like a nine foot, like a three meter, but you can kind of see reef octopus all the way down. Um, one thing I'm not, like, I mean, it's it's a minor critique, but the various eight, they only have eight speeds on here. Grand, most of their pumps, I mean, if you look at their Octopulse pumps, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight speeds versus five, eight. I mean, it would give you more control versus the five. Um, it's very, very similar. Well, it's like essentially the same thing as this pump down here, the various um, four. Um, I mean, that has five settings. I think if they gave you like eight to 10 settings, that would be even better to like fine tune everything. But for my purposes, I'm having at one, seeing how it handles it with one, because I can tell there's a massive amount of water being moved at just uh, the level one. So I might move it to two, maybe three. I'm definitely not gonna move it more than three. And then I guess I need to get the float switch and everything going, because that's like one of the best parts about the pump. Man, I swear I do so much work on the weekends. I just need to relax. So I have it set up to have the flow switch on. And if you want to turn off, you just hit this button. Pretty easy to set up. Um, I have it set kind of low in there because my return section gets kind of low sometimes. Pause button to pause it for 15 to 60 minutes. I have it set on two right now and that's actually perfect for me. So let me swing over to the other side. Now with the floats, which I have it mounted to the side of the sump down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, so it's down there hanging off one of the baffles because I didn't like hanging it from um, the upper rim even though I could have. It just, it gets to be too much if I would have put it on this side. That cord is not long. As you can see, it's kind of running along the top trying to save every last inch because that is also a six foot cord. When you have these big pumps, man, you're running big distances. I don't, I don't dig the six foot. I almost didn't use it because it almost didn't fit. So uh, unless I would have put the control panel on the right hand side of the tank as opposed to the left. But that is the pump. I mean, super simple, easy to set up. It's already good to go. It's working well for me. I'm pretty happy with everything and how it turned out. Let's see. That is a beast. The money shot. You can I set up the reef octopus. Various eight, big pump, very powerful, but very minimal cordage. I don't know why Reef Octopus does that. Same with their uh, um, Octopulse fours. They also have, I had to get the extender and I don't know. When you get big pumps, you need it for big tanks. So you need longer cords. It's about my only nitpick on this so far. So I'll come back in a little bit and let you know how I like it in a couple days. So it's been a week and the pump is working great. No complaints. The one thing I haven't tested is the float switch. I have the float switch turned on, so that way it will activate and shut off the pump when the water level gets too low. And I'm doing a water change right now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna siphon out five gallons of water and see if, you know, the float switch works and turns it off. Oh, perfect, it shut it off. Just like that, you could hear it. All right, let me pull the stuff out. There it goes. So, it turned it off. Now I wonder if it's going to kick it back on. Oh, it just kicked it back on. And it kicked it back off and the water drained back down. And it's probably going to turn back on. Probably just going to keep repeating that. 
Maybe? Yep, it turned back on. Okay, so it works. So my overall impressions after one week. I know it's only been a week. I've tested the float switch. I showed you how to plumb it in. Um, the only really critique I could do is with the Varios 8, um, that float switch, the cord is really short. I mean, I, it barely reached across my tank, I think. I mean, it's six foot maybe for the float switch. And when you have the Varios 8, you really want to put it on like a big 200 gallon tank that is six feet. So my problem is if I go to this side over here, I want to make like a control board. And my main problem is if I do that, um, I want to get the control board out from under the tank, but if I want to push it to the side, my Varios 8 pump, um, the float switch, and just the cord length, it's not going to cut it. It definitely is not going to be able to be mounted on the far side of the wall. I mean, you got to kind of put it close together. That's kind of one of the things that I think, you know, like Reef Octopus could improve on, especially with the larger pumps. Larger pumps, larger tank need more space. Just, that's just how it is. Um, another thing I would like for them to do that, oddly enough, the j bow pump does better with is that the j bow pump gave me tons of fittings. I just had the two bulkheads that were one and a quarter inch and then I had to piece it together. So I had to buy like another $10, $8 ish in fittings. Um, and I, I mean, like, why not? Why not throw in those fittings for, I mean, it probably cost Reef Octopus a dollar, maybe. And you're, when you're paying for a premium pump that's like in the $400 range or more, if it's not on sale, it's way more. So um, yeah, that's kind of like one of the things that I wish they would do better on. Overall though, if you like want a good, solid, reliable pump, definitely get the various um, model of pumps. This is the Varus 8, it's more than enough for this tank. And then eventually on this side, I'm gonna have a frag tank and then it's gonna easily be able to handle it. Um, yeah, so if you want, like I know Reef Octopus doesn't really care what I think, but to make the pumps better, give me, instead of one to five, do like one to eight, or like you have for the pump, or one to 10. Um, increment steps also throw in some more fittings and make those cords longer and that's really I mean come on I'm kind of being a little bit nit nitpicky on this but I mean for a for, like this isn't even a premium pump but it like has the quality of a premium pump um, obviously you got your abyss which is crazy and you got um, those Vectras that are supposed to be awesome too but this comes in way cheaper than the Vectra um, L2 so overall, I'm really happy with purchase. Um, anything that they could do to own, like doing those little like additions, making the cords longer, adding those extra fittings would make it so much easier for the um, end users. So for us as consumers, but I really do like this pump so far. And I will probably come back with a long-term review in six to eight, maybe 12 months. Eh, it just depends. I might forget about it. I might go to 12 months. But guys, that's all I got for you this time. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click the subscribe button. I'll come back at you with some more videos. I'll see you later. Peace. Just thought about this. I kind of want to do like a little outro saying. So if you guys come up with a fun outro saying, I've been tossing around in my head, like keep your reef shallow, but keep your conversations deep. I don't know. That's kind of stupid, but whatever. I'll throw something at the wall, see what sticks. And if you guys have a little catchphrase you want me to put in at the end, something about shallow, it's got to be shallow. And no, that's what she said jokes, okay? Keep it PG-13, okay guys? So comment below if you have a good tagline I can throw at the end about something with being shallow. Yeah, I know. The, the jokes are just going to write themselves. But I can't wait to read what you guys write.